Hi, um, I don't know whether, like me, you enjoy a glass of wine. I've been known to enjoy a glass of two. But over the years, I've found that if I'm having a dinner party or, or maybe just um, a meal with a bottle of wine, uh, I always forget to take the cork out and let the wine breathe. Uh, as all your wine buffs out there will know, wine has to breathe to release the flavours and to get it more full-bodied. And if you like me, you always forget. So recently I bought this um, wine breather from a department store. I think you can get them anyway. And I'd just like to show you how it works. Because with this, all you have to do is just open the bottle up the last minute, put it through the wine breather, and your wine is ready. And I think it really does work. But just to check, I'm just got, just opened this bottle about five minutes ago. I'm just going to try a little bit. Uh, it hasn't been through the wine breather. The bouquet is still not released yet. It's not too bad. But let's just see what it tastes like. Uh, this is quite a clever contraption. You stick the wine breather on top. And then turn the bottle upside down. Now I do recommend you hold the bottle. Although you can let it go. But just on the safe side, I would hold it. And if you look, you can see the wine going down the sides of the wine breather. It's shaped this way so that the wine is getting the maximum amount of air as it travels down to the bottom of this uh, decanter. Now then, it takes about a couple of minutes, I think. Uh, but you can see, if you get closer on this, uh, how the wine is touching all the sides and getting the maximum amount of air into it. Um, so I'll just give it another minute and s see what um, what it tastes like. Now you can serve the um, wine from the carafe if you wish. It's a nice shape. Um, or if you like me, what I like to do is now it's gone, you simply turn it back up the other way. Now I would suggest you do hold it if you buy this type uh, because I, it will hold up and not fall off but just on the safe side. And then I'm putting it back in the bottle because I like to save it from the bottle. So you've got guests waiting. Oh I've forgotten to open the wine. Uh, it won't breathe black. You've got it instantly now. So it goes back a little bit quicker with double aerating it as well. But you can, if you wish, serve it from the, uh, the glass the, the decanter. It's just a matter of preference, really. Um, I don't think it's snob value or anything. I think it's just a good idea. Um, I mean, it's quite pleasant to watch it as well. I'll just pull it off now, carefully. And I just got that release of air. I'll just finish, drink this little bit off. Now I'm going to pour some more. Give me the swill. Now remember it's had double aeration now. Yeah, the bouquet's there now. It's coming through. We've got the tannins have uh, escaped a little bit. And the full bouquet and body of the wine is coming through. Oh yeah, that's much softer. Much rounder. And much more... Uh, pleasant bouquet. So if you ever get the chance, go and buy one of these. Um, the, I think the different models at different stores. I'm not pushing this one. I don't, I'm not even telling you the name of this one. But it's a good um, thing to buy and I would recommend it. So thank you for watching.